Hello, adventurers! I'm Gray, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where we're hanging out in the church, newly upgraded, newly fancy. Look at this place, absolutely beautiful. And one thing that I just noticed, which is pretty interesting, is that the church quality, which is 61, is the exact same as the graveyard quality, which is also 61 right now. I just thought that that was a, a fun little coincidental thing, based off the upgrades that we gave both of them. Completely by accident. Also, I was checking to see what an incense burner would look like fitting into the church. And unfortunately, it looks like it only goes into the slots that candelabras and these confessionals and things like that go into. So there's really no point, unless I could rotate them, but I don't even think that would matter because it's four long. And if I could rotate, there's only spaces of three wide here. So we can't really use these right now. Plus, I see no point in them because they only give one faith, whereas the current tier two candelabras give two faith per so it's a better better deal to use the candelabras though next faith day we should get a a lot of a lot of money hopefully a lot of money a lot of faith because our church quality is higher and that'll be really nice a lot of the activities i want to do in graveyard keeper right now are sort of repetitive sort of the same things that i always do and that i've shown off before for example i do want to work with a lot of these bodies a lot of them are really horrible quality and i do not want to bury those at the graveyard so I'll probably end up burning a lot of them. I can make a zombie out of that guy though, and that would be pretty nice. I'm kind of tempted to just set up two more zombies just to get the wood farm going. Because while wood is pretty easy in general to get, it would help a little bit whenever I'm doing other things just to have a full supply of wood when I come back if I used all of it. There are a couple comments I'm going to read through before I start doing anything first though, and I'm going to do that right now. So, first of all, According to the comments, deconstructing things gives some resources back, and I did notice that last time, and I definitely made more resources for the upgrading the church than I needed to, because if I had just deconstructed some benches, I would have gotten some of that material. But hey, it's fine. It's better to have too much than too little, in my opinion. My nickname is apparently getting even longer, because I'm now the short, sappy, synesthetic, crabby pirate, and I meant to introduce myself without this time, so... Hello adventurers, I'm Gray, the short, sappy, synesthetic, crabby pirate, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Okay. I was suggested to try the blacksmith perk because it helps a lot when spending in-game when toiling in the workyard, and I'm going to take a look at that in a moment. And then green points, I, I don't have as many as red because while they're the easiest to get, they're also spent the most, so I haven't been able to save up as much. Okay. So let's see. So in here, blacksmith, inborn blacksmith. It's not that hard to get. Fireman. So that's for... I'm assuming that helps with... With the amount of coal and stuff you need in order to smelt. Or maybe it takes less fire to smelt each thing. I should probably look up what these different perks do, actually. Because I think just unlocking some perks in general... Might not be a bad idea. There are some detailed descriptions of perks on the wiki. And that's pretty nice. Okay, so blacksmith, just in general, lets me get more for each thing I craft in the workyard for a good number of things, like nails, iron parts, and stuff. Fireman lets me, I believe, smelt things at a faster rate of time, using less fuel as well. Okay, it's fireman's for iron ore, though, for the most part. Engineer, I believe, lets me craft higher quality of certain items in the workyard. Swordmaster, of course, increases my damage pretty significantly of the sword. Okay, big guy also increases my damage and defense. They said that the description here for this one is wrong on the wiki though. It should be plus two damage and plus two defense, not one. Okay, I'll go ahead and get blacksmith because that's a pretty straightforward one. Let's see. So in here, we've, we've unlocked a lot in here. What's carpenter and mason do? Okay, so carpenter and mason would also both be really good. Because they allow me to get more out of crafting in the workyard using wood and using stone. Like this gives, I believe this gives more stone from the big piece of stone I get. And miner lets me get rare ores and stuff. I'm going to need more blue points. That is still my limiting factor right now. Which is a darn shame. Okay, because everything costs blue points that I want to unlock. In fact, almost everything costs blue points in general. Everything in here does. Does everything in here cost blue points? Anything that doesn't involve blue points in the recipe, I can pretty much unlock at this point. Yeah, pretty much everything costs blue points. Zombie quarrying 2 doesn't, but I need to get marble quarrying before I can unlock that. 
But that'll let me get the marble quarry. Do I even really need marble right now, though? I don't really think so. I don't exactly know what the benefit of a desk 2 or a bookshelf are. I might need to look that up. Okay, it's not actually a bad thing to get, because the desk 2 just lets you craft prayers and books and things like that for less energy cost and for higher quality for some things. And the bookshelf is what's actually interesting, because from what I recall, in the alchemy station, which is beneath the church, you can't actually craft any more chests in there. However, the bookshelf acts as a storage unit where everything in that area can use it. So it's basically like another chest that you can add to there, basically as much as you want. And that's pretty nice. But it does cost blue points once again. If I had an excess of that, I would spend it. That's not too bad. Everything costs blue points. Hmm. I should probably get Gentle Busher, to be honest, though. Because when I'm able to extract things a lot easier without errors, that'll make my bodies... Because I'm going to start working on the graveyard fairly soon. That'll make it a lot easier to take care of all that stuff. Hmm. What's the difference between a Preparation Place 2 and a Prep Place 1? Okay. So, apparently if I use a Preparation Place 2, and I have Gentle Butcher, or the Butcher perk, it makes it so that for soft spares and hard spares, so blood, fat, skulls, bones, and skin, I can remove it without any risk at all of having surgical errors. And that's really nice. And if I get the Surgeon perk, then I can remove also things like the intestines, the heart, and the brain without any risk at all either. But if I don't have that, there is some risk. So I think I'm going to spend on Anatomy 2, because right now I'm going to start working a bit on the graveyard and bodies and things like that. That's sort of what I'm going to do from here on, because I need, I need skulls and stuff, and skulls can be removed completely safely with this. So I want to do that. And, be and that's because I need skulls and things like that in order to make Snake happy for his little demon summoning basement. A really great place. Really, really fun place he has there. Beyond that, I'm going to save my points for now because I kind of want to get to 1,000 red points before I spend all of them. I spent a little bit. But... Oh wait, we do not have any zombie juice. Okay, how do we get zombie juice again? Hmm, it's a bit of a problem. Because it turns out... I need blood to make zombie juice, but at the same time, I believe I still need blood for Snake's Place as well, because I think it cost about 10 blood or so in order to start up the fountain up here, because we only have one of those built. Oh no, we have both of them. Okay, we don't have to worry about that then, I don't think. Let's see. What, do, what exactly do we need again? We, we needed one more crucified skeleton on the wall and one more crucified skeleton, so that would just require two silver star pumpkins and some beams, which we already have pretty cheap so we really only need skulls for this and we need a lot of them because we don't have any skulls in the wall or skulls on a column yet so we need 20 total skulls i believe yeah we need 20 total skulls and we only have six so we need 14 more Whew. it's also going to take some it's going to take some time and effort you know i just noticed that certain items i have on me will allow me to get some blue points for it so I still like zombie juice, gives green and blue. I wonder how much it would give. Pretty, pretty decent amount, actually. And there's also, this gives red, so I don't need to worry too much. I think death powder, yeah, death powder gives some blue points as well. So let's see what, what death powder gives. Uh, five or so? Yeah, five. It's fine. Stock, stocking up, every little bit counts. I also wanted to take a look at what it takes to make good dinners, because that's what we need for our merchant boy. We, we have nothing that can increase the quality of this stuff, so what would be the best thing to use? If I use high quality onion rings, which I think I can buy from the merchant, or from the guy at the inn, forgot his name, or I could probably make it out of my own onions if I get good onions. I believe it takes oil to make as well though. If I use high quality lentils, which of these is the best? Great pie. I'm not sure what would be the best thing to use for these recipes. Like a cake would be good. Do I have the capabilities of making cake? I forget, how do you unlock recipes for things? I'm not quite sure. Ah, here's cake. Okay, gold star cake. Pastry dough. How do we get pastry dough, though? And this is like me cooking in real life. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I 
Let's see, is pastry dough made in here? Yeah, it is. It requires milk and a chicken egg. So how many how many good dinners did we need? We needed five or is it ten? Five. And it, one cake makes one dinner, so we're gonna need five. 10, 15, 20, two more berries, and then five sets of pastry dough, which would be five eggs, five milk. Okay, we can handle that. That'll be something to work on. We'll, we'll do the dinners one step at a time. So we'll start off with the cakes. We'll store them up, and that'll be good. I know where to get eggs and stuff. I don't remember. Is milk at the same place as eggs? I'm not quite sure. Well, let's, let's spawn in some zombies, just like that guy. He's pretty cool. All right, man. It's your time to shine. And by shine, I mean zombify. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to be the wood man. Let's go. Wait, is that the wrong type of wood man? Hey, it's your friend. We caught up to him. Now get in the wood yard. Actually, I'll put him into delivery business for now because we have some wood here. We might as well go ahead and get that started with the delivery. At least until we get another zombie to farm the wood. There's the berries we need for now. Go ahead and store that. Good thing we got that little berry farm, so I don't actually have to look that hard to find any of them. And now we'll get another body now that we made that zombie as well. And we can immediately turn the new one into a zombie. Now, is this where I get eggs and milk, or is this just eggs? Okay, it's just eggs. They got five, and they're pretty cheap, actually. Yeah, I have no qualms of spending that much on five eggs. Where do we get milk? It looks like we have to go to the northern part of the village, above the inn, to a woman called Rosa. Who I must have talked to at some point, but I completely forgot that she existed. I'm sorry, Rosa. Hello there, is that you? Yeah, it is. Okay, and she's got milk. And it is equivalent, one bucket of milk gives five jugs of milk. And it's ten for this, let's see. Oh no, but that's a bit more expensive. Okay, so if I do this, then it'll save me about seven bronze, which I think is pretty good. And I use it. Five jugs, alright. Haha, <laughs> I get swindled out of seven copper, loser. <laughs> that's business. Hey, it's the Inquisitor, how you doing? Hey, you're just walking through town, you're doing your thing, now you got your guard here, you're a cool guy. Can I go with you to town, please? Take me with you, take me- No. Oh. Okay then. I'll go back home. I just want love and affection. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Alright, it's a celebration. Happy birthday. Time to bake ourselves some cakes. So, first of all, we need pastry dough. And I forgot that we first need to harvest our wheat. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we should have enough now. In fact, I believe we only need 8 flour to make the amount that we need. Here we go. We're iron chefs now. This, these eggs are raw! Let's see. Oh, we don't even need that much pastry dough. Oh man! Is it only one pastry dough per cake? It is! I spent too much on... on milk and eggs. Not that it matters too much, but just... I didn't realize that it made four for everyone here. All right, it's fine. We'll have it on backup. Big up, and now it's time to bake a cake. Let's see, milk buckets. We got our egg. We got some sugar, some spice, some everything nice. Um, put in some uh, some redstone, some some iron. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that my cake is gonna get someone killed. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I've tried making cakes in real life before. Not that often. I don't really make stuff on my own. And somehow, something went horribly wrong. I don't know how. Probably for an ingredient or something. Probably was flour, because it's always a great idea to try and make cake without flour. I don't think it even rose in the oven. It was bad. <laughs> I'm not a chef. One day, I wish to learn how to cook better, but that day is not today. That is step one of the dinner, though. So if we bring this up to gold star cake, which is what we're going to have. That's already by default, like with poor quality stuff here. A chance of getting silver. So let's see, what, what what can we have for here? A bowl of lentils. Now how do we get that? How is that made? We can do that, or we can do a bowl of pumpkin soup. Or we can do baked salmon, which is probably not what we're going to do. Royal fish. Baked kebab. There's quite a few we can do in here. 
What's this? Baked pumpkin? Hmm. Gold Star Burger. I think we made some Gold Star Burgers, haven't we? At one point for the... Oh, was it Silver Star? John. Give me my lasagna. Cabbage soup. Actually, that one might be really easy. Basically, any of these soups should be really easy. Okay, I'll look it up. It looks like it's made of cabbages, beets, and onions, but what really determines the quality in the end is the onion. The thing is, though, I don't think... Okay, I have one Gold Star onion. We need more than just one, though. We need two of them, at least, because one onion will make four soup, but we need five total. Where did I plant the onions here? Are these onions? Okay, those are onions. So we should get more from here. Okay, good, good. I forgot that we already have an onion farm going. What was the crop that we don't have going yet? Because I checked that merchant, and I think his name is Miller, the one that we need to get that last crop from, and he still hasn't unlocked the second tier. Oh, man. Okay. okay. I'm going to set up all this stuff, so I can't buy it off him yet. But that's sort of a plan for the future. Actually, I'm going to use all the things I already have set up down there and plant the best onion seeds I can. Which is not Gold Star, apparently. Apparently, the donkey has delivered a new body, so we'll take care of that as well. And by take care, I mean uh, bring back another friend. Because my guy doesn't have any real friends. We gotta make our own friends. And when I say make friends, I mean from corpses. There we go. <laughs> Resurrect. Oh yeah. Wood farm. Let's get it going. Might as well, because that's the only other zombie thing we have unlocked right now. Yeah, yeah, get to chopping. Chop down this tree. Boop. There we go. In instant wood. And we'll keep on stocking up. Hey, stop it. Get one shot, fool. Yeah, this wing thinks he can grab me. Never. Oh. Hey, five bakes in the oven. Or five bakes. Five cakes bacon in the oven have all finished at the exact same time. Well, four of them, because I took out one earlier. Apparently, it's not that difficult to cook five cakes in one tiny oven. No, the more you learn, the more you learn. Okay, let's see. So where in here is the cabbage soup? Oh yeah, perfect. So we need two sets of this, but we can only make one set at a time. So let's just do it. Oh, it's gonna take a moment. Eh, we can handle it. It's also about to be prayer day. And by about to me, I mean it is prayer day. So I'm curious to see how much money we'll make this time. Oh, got to sleep longer. Our second set of soup is going right now, but I want to check out how much we'll get from this prayer, just to see. So 100% chance of success, really nice, because we're at 61 out of 60, so that means we'll definitely get the buff, but I believe church quality also impacts what you get from it. I read that out before. I forgot the specifics, but I should get more than I did before. So it's 11. Okay. Oh, it's so much. 20, 30. That is so much faith now. I can research basically whatever I want to at this point. 43. I'm not sure. Is that is that more than before? Or maybe I have more churchgoers now, so it gives more overall. Mm, 6, 7, 8. It's about the same amount as before in terms of money, I think. Because it was almost 10 silver before, and now it's still almost 10. That's fine, though. It's still a pretty consistent payout. All right, we have our soups. Let's toss it in here, along with all our other crops that we've been using for food. And let's see, so for dinners, we can now make a fairly consistent, good quality dinner, I believe. Unfortunately, I gotta scroll quite a bit to find it, but there we go. And now the cake, that gives it a 30% chance of being what we need. We need to raise that up more than that. So we can use onion rings. Silver star would be fine as well, because 97%, like, that's fine. Hmm. But I would like it to be 100% gold, though, if I can. But there's not too many things I can do that with. It would have to be gold star onion rings. How much would that cost to make? Okay, it looks like I can do that. All I need is one oil, which I can get from seed oil, or I can just turn some fat into oil. Oh, no, we have some. Okay, we can just do it right now. I didn't realize how easy it was, because... Where is it in here? Or have I not unlocked it yet? Maybe I need to buy the recipe. Let me double check. Okay, it looks like I have to wait just a little bit before I can craft that. 
because it requires me to bring an onion, a Bronze Star one in particular, to Horadric, which is the owner of the inn, at nighttime, which is an oddly specific thing to do. But hey, I won't judge. I wonder how people would figure that out rather than just pure chance, though. It'll be about nighttime if I go over there right now, but I will wait just one moment. You know, I never really got the apiary done like I was planning on earlier, did I? Might as well do that, get this whole place set up, make it look neat so there's not just a big pile of mess over here. And we can build a beehive if we just have 10 bees. You know, getting a consistent place to get honey would be pretty nice. Would be pretty nice. Uh, I hate myself sometimes. Yoo-hoo, Horadric! I brought you your onions you crave so much, you filthy addict. Okay, let's see. Hmm, I smell onions. They're my favorite vegetables. Onions keep me in business. What do you mean? I serve onion rings and onion toast. It keeps people thirsty, so I keep selling beer. I think they were made for each other. Oh, is that why they sell onion rings and stuff at bars? Oh, not every bar. Not that I would know. That Not like I go to bars. My apologies, I got a little bit interrupted, so I missed that last bit of text, but he was just talking more about onion rings and bars and how great they are and stuff. So I've unlocked beer snacks. Onion rings and toasts with onions. Alright. And I could buy them off him. It's not like they're too expensive. But I can make it so I don't have to spend anything. It's fine. It's easy. Yar. I want to cook, okay? And now is that recipe in my cookery? Indeed it is. I could probably look up where to get all these different recipes if I wanted to, to be honest. But I'll probably end up unlocking them over time as I need them anyway, so it's not too big a deal. Alright, onion rings, onion rings. It's somewhere in here. I think. There it is. Oh yeah, gold star. And once that's done, it'll actually, it's almost merchant day. Like, we have to go through today, of course. I'll probably meditate through today, but once we have our onion rings, we can go ahead and make our dinners. And we'll have the merchant stuff already done, and that'd be pretty nice. So we can continue on that whole quest chain. There we go. And now let's make ourselves some gold star dindins. Unfortunately, I gotta click a ton on this one. Where is it? There it is. All right, and now 100% success rate. Am I gonna have to do this five times in a row? All right. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't actually have to click through it. I just realized that I can click on the image and then click on the exact thing I want to use. Unfortunately, I realized that on the last dinner, but hey, I know it for the future. The last supper, you could call it. I'm definitely not going to backstab the merchant. All right, let's get some sleep. We'll deliver it to him and that'll be a good costing day. Good cooking, good cooking. I'm feeling very productive. You know, I feel like I haven't mentioned it before, but I actually quite like the design of the clock at the top left of the screen. Not exactly the icons that they use for all the characters, but I like the whole thing with the church and the graveyard. With the cross at the top sort of being like the, the sign of the clock. So that's basically where you see time passing right at the spire, right at the top of that church. I really like that. That's pretty cool design. Oh, they're merchant. I have those dinners you wanted. It wasn't easy, but I made them. Ooh, it looks great. You're a great chef. It's... My, my, my dinner is not raw. Gordon Ramsay would be very pleased. Tomorrow the court will flood with rumors about tonight's dinner. Come see me next week and I'll tell you how it went. I would love to, Mr. Merchant. I will discuss strategy with you at a later date, apparently. Because right now is not the time. I do need a trade license, though. I can buy diamonds off him? I mean, it'll be freaking expensive, but I wonder if I can make cake and sell cake to him. I could sell all sorts of food, actually. Well, regardless, I think this is a good place to end off this episode. I just realized that I keep saying that I'm going to mess with bodies and get skulls and all sorts of stuff every episode. And then I get caught up in some other quest or some other task, and I keep on forgetting to do that. So uh, I'll once again save it for next time. We'll see if I actually end up doing that. I don't think I have anything else I'm working towards exactly right now, so that might be what I focus on next time. But yeah, we made some good progress, and that should open up a new way for us to make good money as well. Because I believe next time we speak to the merchant, next week, we'll be able to set up crop crates and things like that to sell to him. 
and that makes good money in those and i can unlock the trade license using that method of gaining money but yeah that's pretty much it for now hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of graveyard keeper i certainly did if you enjoyed it i'd appreciate it, like comment or subscription it really does help out and i hope to see you all on the next adventure <laughs>